strength versus tensile strength, what's the difference? When selecting materials, for an engineering application, critical mechanical properties of the material must be reviewed. Two such properties are yield strength and tensile strength. Despite this similarity, yield strength and tensile strength are two very different parameters. Yield strength. The yield strength of a material represents the stress beyond its deformation. Any deformation that occurs as a result of stress higher than the yield strength, will be permanent. Yield strength is measured in N per square meter or pascals. The yield strength of a material is determined using a tensile test. Some deformations are linearly elastic and once the maximum strength is attained, the material fractures. It is difficult to define an exact yield point for certain materials on the stress-strain curve. This is because these materials do not display an abrupt curve, rather the onset of yield occurs over a range. It is therefore practical to use proof stress as a representation of the yield strength. Proof stress Proof stress is measured by drawing a line at 0.2% of the strain, parallel to the straight line elastic region of the stress strain curve. The yield strength of a material can be increased by certain material processes. Tensile strength Often referred to as ultimate tensile strength, UTS, tensile strength is the maximum tensile load a material can withstand prior to fracture. Tensile strength can also be determined using this formula. Where PF is the load at fracture, R is the original cross-sectional area, and sigma F is the tensile strength, measured in N per square meter or pascals. However, in practical applications, tensile strength varies with temperature. At 100 degrees Celsius, the tensile strength of copper falls from 220 MPa at room temperature, to 209 MPa. Comparative analysis of yield strength and tensile strength. Yield strength is measured at the point of deformation. Tensile strength is measured at the point of fracture. During design considerations, tensile strength is analyzed only in uniaxial loading. Multiaxial stress states are estimated in yield strength analysis. Deformation of materials occurs after yield strength has been surpassed, while tensile strength is reached after deformation has taken place. Tensile strength is usually of a higher numerical value than the yield strength of a particular material. The tensile strength of a material can be ascertained with 100% accuracy. Yield and tensile strengths of some common engineering materials. Next, some examples of the yield and tensile strengths of some engineering materials. Copper Yield strength, MPA, 70 Tensile strength, MPA, 220 Aluminium Yield strength, MPA, 95 Tensile strength, MPA, 110 Stainless steel IC302 Yield strength, MPA, 502 Tensile strength, MPA, 860 Tungsten Yield strength, MPA, 941 Tensile strength MPA 1500 to 1800.